Welcome everyone to the first Fanny video. As you know, Fanny works hard to teach students science by connecting our great Canadian scientists. Today we will be talking to you about one of Canada's most famous scientists, Dr. Richard F. W. Bader. Just sit back, relax and watch. You may just learn something new. Dr. Richard F. W. Bader was born in 1931 in Kitchener, Ontario. He passed away in 2012 at the age of 80. He was a theoretical chemist and throughout his life he contributed many great things to the field of quantum mechanics. He was a very educated man with many distinctions and degrees. Initially, Bader went to McMaster University where he obtained his bachelor and master's degrees in chemistry. In 1958, he received his PhD in chemistry from MIT and did research at the University of Cambridge. So he's gone through a lot. From 1959 until 1963, Bader served in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Ottawa. He was also elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in Canada in 1980. He was also a Fellow of the Chemical Institute of Canada. On top of that, Bader has received the John Simon Hugenheim Memorial Fellowship. Bader was elected a Grand Fellow of the MIRCE Academy, Euxter, UK, in 2010. In 2011, he was one of the nominees for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Over his long career, he published 223 reference articles and books and chapters about chemistry and physics. Bader's works has been cited more than 26,000 times. Phew, we could go like this forever, but we've only got five minutes. Bader is well known for his contributions in quantum mechanics, specifically that in the field of chemistry. Bader became aware of how electron densities affect the behavior of atoms and molecules. He then spent the next few decades of his life developing his quantum theory of atoms and molecules, which in short is called QTAIM. The QTAIM theory builds a link between quantum mechanics to molecular structures and showed that the structures of molecules are able to be predicted by their properties. QTAIM theory is groundbreaking, but it is just as controversial because it boldly challenged the traditional thought of chemistry at the time. Bader's QTAIM theory states that atoms and chemical bonds within a molecular compound behave in a certain way because of the structure's quote-unquote electron density distribution function. In other words, the distribution of electrons from the nucleus determines the behavior of atoms and chemical bonds. Electron density distribution is a probability which describes the average manner of how the electrical charges is distributed throughout real space within the attractive field exerted by the nuclei. Now, relate this back to Schrodinger's wave equation, which is used to determine the probability, the same concept as mentioned before in electron density distribution, of finding an electron at any point within a region of space according to Max Born. This theory plays an important role in explaining the experimental results and observations of chemistry. We are able to compare QTAIM with Dr. Gillespie's Vesper theory, which is something we have learned in class. The Vesper theory is based on the idea that the electron groups around an atom are positioned as far away as possible from the others to minimize repulsion. The molecule will have the same shape as an electron group arrangement of the central atom. QTAIM states that distribution of electrons determines how an atom and chemical bond behaves. See the connection? Electron arrangement determines the shape or properties of a molecule. The topology of electron density can be used to determine the intermolecular forces that give a molecular compound its shape. As we have learned in grade 12 chemistry, intermolecular forces are forces between molecules or in between ions and molecules that influence the physical properties of substances. The electrons are distributed unevenly because of the uneven sharing of electrons due to electronegativity differences, thus resulting in different electron densities. According to the electron density of atoms, the polarity of the molecule can be demonstrated. Therefore, knowing the polarity, we can tell the intermolecular forces that are present, such as ion dipole forces or one of the van der Waals forces, dipole to dipole, dispersion force, or induced dipole forces. For example, Bader used the points where the electron density is zero to determine the shapes of molecular structures. Bader discovered that by adding up the properties of constituent atoms, you can predict the properties of a molecule. 
Bader helped quantify the quantum mechanical theory through the visualization of electron density. Some applications of QTAIM are creating new molecules and materials with specific properties, which leads to the invention of many new technologies. QTAIM also made it possible for computerized experiments to mimic the laboratory experiments, making it quick and efficient, such as the computer programs AIM All and AIM Pack. In conclusion, based on many experimental results, Dr. Bader's theory distinguishes the very important role of electron density, which is that electron density determines the behaviors of molecules and chemical bonds.